What's up, Eagles? So during my first year at Skyline, I spent a lot of time having the same conversation over and over. It would go something like this. I'd say, hi, I'm Victoria. I'm your school psychologist. Then the person would say, we have a school psychologist? And I'd say, yeah, and it's me. During my second year at Skyline, the question changed from, we have a school psychologist, to, what does a school psychologist do? The answer to that question is a little more complicated, but if I had to summarize, my job is to help students work through problems to give them better access to their education. I'm not the school therapist, although sometimes the conversations I have are therapeutic. I'm not a psychiatrist, I don't prescribe medications, I don't give diagnoses in the school or treat mental illnesses, I help solve problems when students are having difficulty learning. I help solve problems when students are struggling with behaviors that get in the way of their academic success. I help solve problems when students experience mental illness. And as I mentioned before, I'm not actually treating the mental illnesses in the school. As a school psychologist, I have a more thorough understanding of how mental illnesses affect education. So I help students with mental illnesses navigate the challenges of school based on their needs. So now it's my third year at Skyline. And you might be wondering, what is the question of the year? I'm tempted to say the question this year is, what the heck? But the real question of the year is, can you help me? I'm so proud of all the Skyline Eagles who have been asking for help this year. Not just from me, more Eagles have been asking for help from their teachers, parents, and friends. The smartest people I know were not born that way. They became the smartest people by asking questions, asking for help. In fact, I often see people with high intelligence struggle in life because they don't know what they don't know and they don't know how to ask. Asking for help does not mean you are weak or unintelligent. Asking for help is the process of adding another person's strength to your own. This is how people become smart. It's how we become strong. The key word there is become. This is a process. One of the most difficult challenges I experienced as a student was becoming comfortable saying, I don't know. Sometimes we let ourselves believe that I don't know equals I'm not smart. I have learned that saying I don't know actually means I'm smart enough to ask for help. If you don't know something, you're in good company and you're in the right place. The whole point of school is to learn. So if you need help, it's okay to ask. Ask your teachers, ask your friends, ask your parents, ask your counselors, ask me. I've been so impressed by the number of students who've learned how to effectively use email this year. It's great. Keep reaching out. Keep asking for help, and as always, be good, be safe, be eagles, and rise.